sepsis. It kills more people globally than breast cancer, prostate cancer and HIV combined. Yet it's often underrecognized. In this episode of Fathers and Beyond, we'll break down everything you need to know about sepsis so you can recognize it, treat it and save lives. Sepsis is a life-threatening organ dysfunction caused by dysregulated host's response to infection. Simply put, it's when the body responds to an infection spirals out of control, damaging its own tissues and organs. Sepsis can be triggered by any infection, bacterial, viral or fungal. The most common culprit, pneumonia, urinary tract infections, abdominal infections and skin infections. Those who are at higher risk include the very young, elderly, people with chronic diseases, cancer or weakened immune systems. Early recognition is key. Think of sepsis when a patient with infection shows signs of fever or hypothermia, confusion or altered mental state, a fast heart rate, which is tachycardia, a low blood pressure, which is hypotension, a fast breathing, which is tachypnea, and a low urine output. In sepsis, the immune system overreacts, releasing inflammatory mediators like cytokines. This leads to widespread vasodilatation, capillary leak, and eventually hypoperfusion of vital organs, causing dysfunction or even failure. Sepsis is a clinical diagnosis supported by labs and scoring systems. Look for elevated lactate, positive cultures, abnormal white blood cell counts, and rising SOFA or QSOFA scores. Time is tissue. For every hour delay in treatment, mortality increases. Management begins with a sepsis 6 bundle. 1. Oxygen 2. Blood cultures 3. IV antibiotics 4. IV fluids 5. Azure lactate and 6. Monitor urine output Treat the underlying cause and start broad-spectrum antibiotics within the first hour and escalate care if the patient worsens. When hypotension persists despite fluid resuscitation and lactate remains high, which is more than 2 millimoles per liter, you're dealing with a septic shock and it's a medical emergency requiring vasopressors and ICU care. For sepsis assessment, we use SOFA and QSOFA. SOFA is Sequential Organ Failure Assessment. It's used in the ICU to track progression of organ dysfunction over time in patients with suspected sepsis. The purpose is to identify organ failure severity, and it helps predict ICU mortality. SOFA includes six organ systems. Respiratory system, coagulation, liver, cardiovascular, central nervous system, and Renault. A SOFA score increasing over 2 is organ dysfunction and suggests sepsis in the setting of infection. QSOFA is also called QuickSOFA and it's a simplified version for rapid bedside assessment, which is especially used outside the ICU. The QSOFA criteria are three clinical signs. Altered mental state, so a classical coma scale below 15, a respiratory rate above 22 per minute and a systolic blood pressure below 100. If the Q-sofa is more than 2, there is a high risk of poor outcome. Think of sepsis, escalate care and consider full SOFA. With early recognition and treatment, many will survive, but sepsis survivors may experience long-term complications. Prevention through vaccines, infection control and patient education is critical. Sepsis is fast, deadly and often silent, but you can make the difference. Share this video, subscribe for more clinical insights and stay ahead with Vitals and Beyond.